So I thought I'd tell you a little bit of a, I don't know if it, yeah, it's probably a funny story. I hope it's a funny story. It happened, I don't know, 10, 10 years ago. It was early on when my parents got the farm. And to this day, they don't know it happened because we did such an awesome job at covering it up. Uh, me and my friends went up to the farm for a weekend. About four or five of us. Bit of a booze up, I suppose. And um, I think we'd come in, we'd been drinking all night. And we'd come in and we were having um, stuff we've cooked on the barbie. Friend bought these kebabs from the supermarket. Kind of like the, 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 chi the thigh chicken marinated on a skewer. And I don't know, I've never been a fan of those. They sometimes taste all right, but I'm always a bit worried, especially now. <laughs> anyway, we've been drinking heaps and he was downing bourbon, a lot of bourbon. I think we all were bourbon and coke. And I don't know, we were all on the couch watching TV, I think at that point, because we're all kind of over it. And one of our friends was looking, he was looking a bit sick, I must say. He didn't actually join us on the couch. He was still sitting at the table. And we were kind of like, is he all right? And the next minute, okay, we see him get up. Well, we kind of, we felt him go past us because the cat, he went, had to go down there to get to the bathroom. He went down the hallway and we hear something and we both, me and my other friend, look down the side of the, uh, down the hallway and across the couch and all we saw was this brown splatter across the carpet and down the wall. Now, when you see brown splatter down a carpet and a wall, it's the first thing that came to our mind was just, oh fuck. I hope this is not diarrhea. <laughs> oh god, it just, it looks so much like that. It was just, oh, it was so hideous. We figured how could he have got his pants off in that time going down the hallway, but... Anyway, in that short split of a second, we sobered up so fucking quickly. Oh my god, I, like we were fucking gone and then suddenly we're just looking at it going fuck what do we do <laughs> we went down there and investigated even though we didn't really want to partly because we had to see our friend was okay if it, um, and he kind of wasn't but it was only throw up there's vomit there's a mix of the kebab that he had which probably was the culprit mixed with a lot of alcohol which was brown and the kebabs were brown so what ended up coming out was brown. It's pretty hideous, I must say. Our friend was in the bathroom, still vomiting at this point. It, like, it's funny, there wasn't actually much in the bathroom. Pretty much ended up all in the hallway. You just think, really? Ah, oh, it's just, oh, it was just too much. We cleaned up as much as we could that night. I think we spent the rest of the night just cleaning. It. Cleaning, it was horrible. And we um, firstly wiped it all down and got it, cleaned it up as much as we could and then we were vacuuming and I was just like, and it, it vacuumed up this water and the vacuum cleaner till this day, I think, I think it only just got thrown out, always had this hideous smell to it. Oh, uh, it was just rank. Anyway, we did a lot of cleaning up weekend. We even went, the next day we went and hired one of those steam cleaners from Woolies and um, gave it a freaking, I don't know, multiple dosings of that and the staining was just so strong, it was amazing. And I thought, they're going to find out, they're going to go, what the fuck. We cleaned it that much that um, it looked pretty good. Uh, the only time was at night, it suddenly looked really dirty. And I don't know if it would always been like that, but my parents went up there, stayed, didn't notice the thing. I thought they would pick up some sort of smell. Like my mum is just the cleanliest person ever. Gets a tiny little bit irritating sometimes. I reckon six months to a year. They saw 
the staining in the hallway and thought it was just, you know, other visitors sometime. They don't know when. Because before they changed the carpet, every time I went up there I could see it. It just, everything stood out to me. And I'm thinking, how the hell did they not miss that? How did they not see all that shit? But I suppose when you don't know it's there, just sort of, you, you do miss it. You're not paying attention. You don't realise it's different to what it was. It was always a bit of a dirty carpet, but certainly got a bit dirtier after our stay. <laughs> the end of my little story.